today I'm going to show you a quick, easy, and cheap way to make DIY dumbbells at home. If you're like many of us, we are all working out from the home and dumbbells are being upcharged if you can even find them. So here are all of the supplies you're going to need. I have some PVC piping that I asked to cut down to about 8 inches. My goal was to make 3 pound weights or just under that for easy at home workouts that you can follow along here on LeadFit during our at home workouts. Now you're going to want to weigh your sand, make sure you tear your container, and you're going to take some cans. The larger the cans, the more weight. And you're going to take the tab off of the can and you're going to seal it with some duct tape. Using a box cutter or a sharp knife, make sure you cut a hole large enough to fit the PVC pipe in one end. Next, you'll start to pack in the sand. Now, you don't have to use sand. You can use whatever you have around dirt, rice, flour, baking soda, or even concrete. And the more you pack in whatever you're using, the more you can get in there equals more weight. With a traditional Coke can or soda can, you'll get about three pounds using everything I'm sharing with you right now. So if you want a larger weight, get a larger can. And then you're gonna shove the PVC pipe into one end and start to pack in some sand in the PVC pipe. And this you'll want to, at turns, like take um, whatever you can to kind of pack the sand in as much as possible just to get the weight in there. Pack it in, add more sand, and keep on packing it in there until you can't fit anything else in. Now you're gonna take some of your duct tape, and I split mine in half to make it thinner and more easy to do a crisscross. Now I'm securing the PVC pipe to the can. It's not gonna be super secure, just kinda holding it there so I can work on the other side of this dumbbell. A tip when you're securing your can is to focus on cross sections. This way that if it does try to fall or move around, it's kind of secure either which way. Now you're going to take your other can, can number two, pull off the tab, seal it once again, and repeat the last few steps in terms of filling and packing your sand or whatever ingredient you're using as your weight. Once you've packed your can, you're going to carefully take the finished side and insert it into the can number two, and then gently secure it using duct tape. Once again, I like to split my duct tape for this process, and you're just going to start to secure it by crisscrossing your duct tape, and the final step is going to secure the entire dumbbell with duct tape and again focus on crisscrossing and then you can focus on the aesthetics by covering everything with the duct tape focusing on one direction to make it look more uniform and the cool thing is you can use whatever color duct tape for whatever color dumbbells you want so with just one pvc pipe cut into eight inches for handles a bag of sand or whatever you have to use as a weight and four used coke cans you are able to create dumbbells and of course whatever duct tape of your choice i personally like the silver ones because they kind of match our dumbbells that we already own and now you have three pound dumbbells. You'll repeat this step to create a set of dumbbells and they're perfect for our at home workouts. Just be gentle when you're putting them down. I wouldn't drop them or throw them, but they're definitely effective for all of our at home workouts if you wanna incorporate a little more weight. And of course you can use larger cans for a heavier weight. Hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe.